Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Think about it Thursday. What have I been thinking about? I have been thinking about so many incredible handguns that were very popular, high demand pistols that all of a sudden became discontinued. Why does that happen? We tend to think that they get discontinued because of a lack of sales or the parts are too much or import issues. But a lot of times it's bad management. You look at the Hudson H9. That was the hottest gun about five years ago. It was on fire. And then all of a sudden when they were selling a bunch, they had financial issues and all of a sudden they're gone. If you own a Hudson H9, Good luck getting it serviced. It's going to be near impossible and don't even think about getting the parts for it. You look at Honor Guard. Honor Guard was uh, somewhat popular. I think the gun world treated Honor Guard very poorly. Yes, it had some drop safe issues, but so did the SIG P320 and that's still around. That's the difference behind a big financial backing versus a family making guns out of their garage trying to get into a very competitive market. But I also want to show you this one because I believe you forgot about it and I still own it. It was extremely popular in 2019 when it first released and that is the Narrow Arms N1. It's a seven round staggered stack that is hammer fired people said well that's nothing but a shield copy but really it's not if you look at some of the things that offers it has that aluminum trigger there it is hammer fired it's got very smooth slide action with almost full length frame rails and it came out the gate and people were like wow i need to get my hands on this a couple years later it's gone where'd it go nobody knows the company started out in 2013 making parts for the industry of the gun industry and then they came out with their own handgun and within a short time it was gone very competitive extremely and then you look at this one this was quietly discontinued and that's the Springfield 911 they made it in 380 this one's a nine millimeter very small three inch barrel aluminum frame 1911 light controls it met the needs of so many people and, and they say well maybe maybe sig outperformed them and they no longer found it profitable to keep that gun going well perhaps so but this went into competition with sig they made it less expensive and used the same magazines well their version but it fits in both handguns the the, the sig 938 and this but nonetheless pocket carry people would do that it's a nice shooting handgun trade in front sight it it met everything that a lot of shooters want there are people that say i don't want anything to do with a striker fire i want a hammer fire gun and this seemed to fit the needs but it must not have been selling parts may have been on back order or they discontinued it in favor of the ronin emp subcompact combination package that Springfield came out with and I think that has become popular as well this one I believe shocked the world it's in 45 ACP it certainly shocked me I'm so happy I got my hands on it before it got discontinued and that is the CZ 97 BD many people claim this is the best double action single action 45 ACP handgun out there and they discontinued it why did they discontinue it? It must have been a lack of sales, right? Well, if you think about it, the CZ family, now with Colt and Dan Wesson, they make a lot of 45 ACPs, primarily in 9mm. Check that, correction, primarily in 45 ACP. And so, was this being overshadowed by some of those other ones? It's a $1,000 gun, used to be 800 but a lot of times when a firearm is discontinued, it raises in cost, especially on the used market. You look at what happened with the Browning High Power. That was very widely known. I don't think a lot of people were buying that. Browning discontinued it. The price skyrocketed. Then we had a bunch of copies take place, and I don't think that the price will continue. I think it'll plateau at a certain level because many people want the original. I have that one as well. And then this other one, this will be my last one, is 
another CZ that I think disappointed a lot of people because they love it. They say that is a great handgun. And it was at one time CZ's smallest handgun, the 2075 Rammy. You couldn't go into a gun store, see that gun on the shelf, and then come back the next day and expect it to be there. You couldn't do that because it was gone. Were, were there import issues? Was it a parts issue? Was it a lack of sales issue? Was it bad management with this division of CZ? Nobody knows, but the CZ2075 that was so highly regarded. Many people still carry this. I get that feedback. And then all of a sudden, it's discontinued. They started out production on a limited basis and then said, we're done. We're not going to sell that gun anymore. And so we see some of these handguns that are so highly desired. They're they're up on top of the charts. We see them up on the mountain. And next thing you know, they're down in the valley. You don't hear about them anymore. What happened? Bad management like the Hudson H9 or drop safe issues or were there hidden problems within the gun that nobody was really able to tell? These Four handguns that I just showed are fine handguns. And at one time, the Hudson H9, people were raving about it. And that was gone as well. And I'm sure we'll see many more in the future. Just look at what happened to the Remington handguns, especially the 1911s, perform incredibly well. So on Think About It Thursday, I've been thinking about this. I wanted to share that with you and get your thoughts as to why a gun that could be so high at one point becomes the low end of the valley. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.